In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can recreate this makeup look. If you're new to the Makeup Chair channel, then click subscribe below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Hope you enjoy this look and let's get started. So the look that I'm creating today is my typical everyday smoky eye. I like the definition of a smoky eye, but for daytime, because of natural lighting, your eye makeup can look quite harsh. So I like it to look kind of sheeny and sheer. And I feel like the side with no makeup and the side with aren't actually that different. And that's what I like for day to day. I like it to look smoky and glam, but still kind of sheer and natural. It's kind of like all these mixture of things in one, but I feel like this look does all of those things, which makes me happy. I used four eyeshadows to create this look. I have a satin, two mattes, and a metallic. Now these are all individual shadows. This isn't a palette. There's probably lots of palettes that have a similar kind of combination, but I wanna show you guys how you can customize this to make it work for you because these work with my shade and my tone and what I need it to be. So I'll explain to you what I'm using, but also how you can actually customize a palette to work for you too. So first we have our satin shade. So this has a slight sheen to it. For anyone who doesn't know, a satin is somewhere in between a matte and a shimmer. So it sort of has a sheen, but it's not completely matte, if that makes sense. And I like this to be about one shade lighter than my skin tone, or perhaps even matching my skin tone perfectly, provided that the sheen is perhaps a little lighter. So about one shade lighter than your skin tone with a slight sheen is what you want. Then I also have my mid-tone. So your mid-tone should always be matte. Some people call this a transition shade. I call it a mid-tone because it's a middle tone. It's not lighter than my skin tone. It's not too dark compared to my skin tone. It's somewhere in between. It's a middle tone. And sometimes I'll use my bronzer for this as well, but I do like using eyeshadows because the payoff and how long they last is a little bit better than using a bronzer. And then my metallic shade is like a bronzy tone. So I usually use this for adding a little bit more depth kind of like a contour sort of effect with a sheen to it. So this has a bronze with a purple undertone because that works for my undertone. So basically, if you like kind of warmer bronze or cooler bronze, just use something within the bronze family with a slight sheen. And then I always like to have a matte black in here as well. So this is Carbon by MAC. So all these eyeshadows are by MAC, but you don't need MAC eyeshadows. I just happen to be using these. There's so many drugstore alternatives and cheaper alternatives out there. I'm just using these ones. So those are the shadows done. For brushes, I really only just use about two brushes. So I always have a good blending brush. And sometimes I like to use two blending brushes. For this, I'm just gonna use one. It's really nice because it's kind of flat, but also it blends. This is the E26 by Blend Compass Cosmetics. And then I also have a double-ended brush. So technically I'm using three brushes, but it's two. <laughs> so one side has a liner. And then the other side has this like little small smudger brush, which I have become obsessed with. And I feel like I can't do my makeup without this brush. I stopped using it for a while and now I'm obsessed again. And the links to those plus a discount code will be in the description box there by Blanca Miss Cosmetics. For mascara, I typically use a Wet n Wild mascara or the Lancome mascara. I will be applying lashes, so I always use the Duo Glue. And then I'm gonna be using two different liners, a nude liner and a black liner, which I'll explain how to use properly later in the video. So there are ingredients lists. Let's move on to the actual look. I always like to start off with a primer. Don't necessarily have to use primer. Sometimes I just apply concealer, but for this look, I did use primer because we're on camera. So I've primed my eyes and I'm gonna start off with the blending brush to begin with. And I'm gonna be taking our satin shade, which is about one shade lighter than your skin tone. And what we're gonna do is just apply this all over the lid and right up to the brows. So just all over the lid, right up to the brows. And it will highlight the brows slightly because it has a nice sheen, but it'll also help with the blend because it's going to create a nice even base to work on. It's just a perfect, nice little base shade. And then I'm going to take my mid-tone or transition shade, as everybody else calls it. I'm going to take that same blending brush again. Don't worry if there's a little bit of your original shade on there. That's totally fine. I want you to bring your hands nice and low and hit upwards into the crease of the eye. If you don't know where the crease of your eye is, it's where your eye creases into your eye shape. And it's anywhere above that, but stopping underneath the brows. I've said this so many times in tutorials, but I feel like I need to keep saying it so I don't forget myself as well, because sometimes I forget. And I'm just gonna blend that over and back using my blending brush. And then I like to bring it down onto the lid as well. A little thing I find is if my lid is too light, I actually look tired. If my lid is sort of mid-tony, I look a little bit more awake. It's very strange. You'd think it'd be the opposite, but it's not. 
And also because we're gonna be doing a smoky eye, it's nice to bring your mid-tone down. It helps with the blend. So you should end up with something like this. Putting the eyeshadows away for a second, we're gonna talk about liner. I'm gonna be using two, but I always start off with my black. And what I do with the black is I tight line. So I apply this liner underneath the top part of your lashes. So right at the roots of your lashes, basically. And I'm just gonna work this along. And I always look down in a mirror because otherwise it feels weird. And you just wanna hit upwards getting in between the lashes. Does it make a massive difference? No. Do I love doing it? Yes, it just adds a little extra definition to the eyes. As you can see from the before and after, it doesn't make that much of a difference, so if you can't do it, don't worry. But I actually really like it. We're gonna leave that set on the eyes. Why? Because I want to apply a nude later. And if I apply the nude now, it's actually gonna transfer and the whole thing is gonna get gray and muddy. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's continue. So for the next step, I'm gonna take the liner side of my cool little brush that I love. I'm gonna take a little bit of gel liner. This is optional, by the way. You don't necessarily have to do this step. What I like to do is I like to coat my lashes with a little bit of gel liner and also along the lash line as well. And I just find that this prevents that kind of chalkiness that you can get on your lashes after you've done your makeup. You know, because sometimes your, your eyelashes sort of grab hold of powder and they look sort of powdery. I like to make sure that they're nice and dark. So I'll apply a little bit of liner on the lash line and also on my lashes. And then I'm gonna take some black eyeshadow. So you can skip that step and move back onto the black if you wanted to. I'm gonna take that little brush and I'm going to stamp a little bit of black eyeshadow along the lash line. This basically explains why you could do one or both because the black eyeshadow is gonna go on there anyway and it does create a very similar effect. I just like to double up on the technique. So I'm just stamping a little bit of that black along the lash line. And then what I do is I bring my hand low again and I smudge upwards. So I kind of tap along the lash line, drop my hand low and smudge. And I just smudge and smudge and smudge. So I get sort of like a smudged out liner look. Don't bring it up too far. A lot of people bring it up far too far, particularly beginners. Keep it low, okay? Just for now, just keep it a bit lower than you think. And then we're gonna take our bronzy tone and we're gonna smudge this all over the lid. Starting at the lash line, working upwards. And yes, we are going over the black, but it's gonna create a different effect because we're gonna have a black base and then a light base. So the metallic shade is gonna go over both and create a grading effect for us. I promise you, you can do this so quickly. It seems like a lot of steps, but once you learn it, it's just like it's done and then it always looks really good. Then apply lots of mascara and you should end up with something that looks like this. I'm gonna go in and apply my lashes and I always get people asking me, how do I apply my lashes? So just to mention it, first of all, don't try this at home. It's not suitable, but it works for me. So what I do is I apply a little bit of glue, less than you think you need and less than you've ever used before. And I don't apply it on the lash band or underneath. I apply it on top of the lashes. Then I sweep upward to kiss my natural lashes to apply a little bit of glue on them, yes. There's glue on your lashes. It's scary. Do not get it in your eyes or go too close to your waterline. You wanna kind of stick the natural lashes and the fake ones together. And once again, don't try this at home, but I just wanted to show you. It means that you have your own natural lash line and that's why I really like doing it. Now I always get just a little bit of a smudge because my eyes water and also there's black now on our lower lash line. We wanna clean that up before we apply the nude. So I'm just gonna clean this area up. And now we can apply our nude because the top part has set. It's not gonna come down anymore. We've got rid of all the part that has come down and now we can apply the nude on the lower lash line. Then I go in with my mascara. I take a little bit of the mid-tone and the metallic shade and just apply this underneath the eyes just on that lower lash line. And then I take the black on the liner brush and just press this underneath the lashes. And there you go. It sounds so complicated. It sounds like there's so many steps, but trust me, it's so easy. And the steps are actually really easy to do, even though there's a lot of them. It's just about whacking the makeup on basically. And that's why I like it for day to day. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Definitely let me know what your day-to-day -day makeup routine is. I would love to know. If you'd like to continue watching some of more of my videos, you can click the screen now, or you can send me your recreations or any of your makeup looks to me on my Instagram or my Twitter. The links are below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to welcoming you back soon.